Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Wotton Bassett in the UK. In today's video, we're going through these bags of coins which we've recently purchased at our coin shop because we regularly buy collections of coins in. It's great fun being able to go through these collections with random assortments of coins with you. And there'll be links in the description of this video to those which are already listed over on our website. But if you spot something you like the look of that's not already on our website, then feel free to get in touch with us about making a purchase. To start us off, we've got this great big pile of mystery boxes. Into the first box then, we've got a silver proof Piaford one pound coin. So this is the crowned flax of Northern Ireland and it's a Piaford coin. So if we get it out for a moment, you can you can see this coin is actually double the thickness of a standard silver proof one pound coin. Some people prefer buying the PA for coins, so you get a bit more silver for your coin, but otherwise, lovely start. Into the next box. 1992 Jersey one pound coin. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So in Jersey, I believe they still use the round pound coins. I don't think the 12 sided pound coin, the bimetallic one we use, has made its way over to Jersey yet, but uh, very cool to see. Into the next box. Oh, it's another crowned flax silver proof one pound coin. This one is the standard silver proof one though, not a double thickness PA Ford one. And the next box. Hmm. Oh, I see. The bicentenary of the Battle of Jersey. That's quite cool. This sort of diamond shaped coin or square, square coin that's obviously at an angle. Uh, what's on the other side then? Lovely. We've got a little coat of arms there. Wow, oh, that's a stunning coin, isn't it? Coming up next, another Jersey silver proof one pound coin, Resolute. Look at that. That's very cool, isn't it? Might be another Jersey one given the box. Certainly is. Jersey one pound silver proof, The Tickler. Mm. So it's another ship. Very nice design, that one. Red box, I think this is PA Ford. Uh, silver proof one pound coin, Crowned Thistle. Yeah, that's a PA Ford coin for sure. Much thicker than a standard silver proof one pound coin. In this box, another Piaford one pound coin, the crowned oak tree. So we've got the, almost the whole series now uh, because all the different parts of the UK have different uh, crowned emblems. This one is obviously the oak tree of England. Another Jersey one, 1993, one pound silver proof coin, uh, Century. So another boat. If you like your nautical themes on your coins, the set seems to be a great one to have. Weirdly, the uh, pamphlet that comes with this one is bigger than the actual box, so <laughs> we know what's going to be in this one. It is the Royal Arms, which is kind of sort of like a definitive design on the old round pound coin. And then Crown Thistle. Lots of the crowned emblems in this collection so far. We've got another one with a big COA. It is again the Royal Arms. Very nice. Oh, got a crowned oak tree again. I do wonder how many of you watching remember these designs on the round pound coins because it's been a fair while since they were withdrawn from circulation. Coming up next, crowned thistle once again. And in this box, oh, we've got some very dirty, grubby looking Maundy money. So it's a Maundy set from 1942 with the portraits of King George VI. And coming up next, Oh, we've got a two pound coin. Again, a silver proof PA Ford, 1994. This was the tercentenary or the 300th anniversary of the Bank of England. Back when the two pound coins were one big single metal coin rather than the bimetallic one we're used to seeing in circulation today. And then another Jersey silver proof pound coin with another glorious looking ship on it. And the next one, Cook Islands, one dollar coin. Wow, look at that. So we've got a whole bunch of portraits across it. 60th birthday of the Queen. Wow, that's very nice, isn't it? I think we know where this coin has come from. The Cook Islands, 1972. Anniversary of the coronation. Nice little coin, that one. We've got some sets to go through next. So we start off with a proof coin set. So proof coins are the highest quality that a coin is struck to by the Royal Mint. There's other variants, so there's the circulating ones you'd find in your change. Brilliant uncirculated, which is a step up from that, but not quite the quality of a proof coin. But this will be the last year of the pre-decimal coins before the UK went decimal. Into the next proof sets. 2002, the year of the Golden Jubilee, hence the Golden Jubilee crown to the center. There's also the three lines of England on the round pound coin. Obviously, um, not being a silver coin, it's got that sort of gold brassy color to it. And the next one, 1996, it's backwards though, so let's have a look. So there we have a range of different coins. We have got the Queen's Birthday, five pound coin, the European Championship football competition on the two pound coin, a really splendid design, I really like that coin. Uh, Celtic talk on the round pound too. And the next set, 
Well, we've got a wedding anniversary, 1997. So it is, of course, the golden wedding anniversary five pound coin. Again, three lines of England on the round pound coin there. And another proof set. House is 2001, so we've got the Queen Victoria five pound coin, the Marconi's wireless transmission, and the Celtic Talk for the round pound coin too. We've got a curious little box here. It says the marriage of the Prince of Wales, oh I see that's the emblem of the Prince of Wales there, the ostrich feathers, and Lady Diana Spencer. Hmm. Oh I see, so we've got, we've got a couple of coins here. Oh they're from the Isle of Man. This one's fallen out of its little slot. But no, that's a cool little box, isn't it? There's another box here. We've got some bump in there. Ah, so it says it's the first coinage of the British Virgin Isles proof set. So we've got some glorious creatures on this. I do like coins with animals on, so lots of birds. If we turn it over. Got Arnold Mason's portrait of the Queen. Into the next one. 1983's proof set, so uh, just the royal arms on the round pound coin there, obviously the halfpenny there too. And the last from this pile, it is 1983's proof coin set, again, the royal arms on the round pound coin too. We're starting off with another proof set, this one is from 1996, so I believe we've seen this set already, so a bit of duplication. And the next one. 1997 again. Pretty sure we've seen this set already. Well, this isn't going to be a UK coin, is it? Look at that. Looks like a crown sized silver coin. And it's a $5 coin with a lovely design to it. We're off to New Zealand next. So this is a brilliant uncirculated coin set. So these coins will be struck to a lower quality than the proof coins that we've seen, but are still a step up from the ones you'd find in circulation. So these are great ways to start collecting. So we've got, looks like the annual coin set from New Zealand, which is lovely to see some of these fascinating designs. Another set from New Zealand. So when's this from 1979? Look at those. How cool are they? Little green folder next. 1980. It's quite interesting how these coins might not be too exciting to someone from New Zealand, but to, to myself in the UK, I don't have much exposure to New Zealand coins, so they're always quite cool to see. Into the next book, 1979. Oh, they are lovely, aren't they? Uh, this is 1887 to 1987. I assume that's 1987's coin set then. There we go, another range of interesting coins. They're quite smart little folders as well, aren't they? 1983 for this one. Ooh, look at that coin there. So this is a coin commemorating the coinage of New Zealand. I always think that coins with coins on them are pretty cool. The next set is 1986. There we go. Got a kakapoo on the dollar, apparently. Hmm. Got a few more of these sets from New Zealand. This is 1982 again. A little brown wallet. What is this? 1981. Super stuff. Got another proof coin set from the UK here. This is 1977. So 1977 is notable in the UK because it was the Queen's Silver Jubilee. And this Silver Jubilee crown was minted for that event. We've got the rest of the definitive coins. We turn it over. We can see the other side of that Silver Jubilee coin. We've got one last set for this handful. Oh, it's 2019's six coin Britannia proof set. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. It's amazing how there's so much detail on this largest canvas coin, uh, what looks like it's the one ounce silver, compared to this dinky little one, which is smaller than my little fingernail. That's uh, mind blowing. Well, we've got all sorts of boxes and bits to get into now. We start with this one. We see the date there, probably know what that's going to be. It is the Queen's Silver Jubilee Silver Proof Crown. We've got another two of these boxes. It's always worth checking because sometimes we do come across coins minted for the different territories. So potentially this one here, as you can see, that was minted for the Queen's Silver Jubilee, but for the Falkland Islands. I'm sure that many of you will be familiar with these little wallets. I think every coin collector has got a few of them stashed away somewhere. It is the UK's first new decimal coins, which were minted en masse. And then we have the coin to mark the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer. And then this box, College of Arms Quincentenary Commemorative Medal. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Great big lump of what looks to be bronze. We can turn it over as well. See what's on the other side. Wow, that's very cool, I think. And then this box, bicentenary of the launch of the original lifeboat, commemorative bronze medal. Wow, look at the stunning detail in that. 
That is glorious. And on the other side, we've got details of the Royal Mint. In this box, Oh, we've got one Tala. So there we go, from a part of the world I've got no idea how to pronounce correctly, so I will avoid doing so. I think this is going to be UK Pieford Pound Coin. It certainly is, 1996. So it is, again, the Celtic talk. And then this box, 1996. Oh, it's a Pieford Two Pound Coin. So this is the European Football Championship. Again, it's a really lovely design on this coin. It really stands out amongst the other ones that were minted. In this green box, Oh, we've got the dual set of 50p coins. So this is 1997, which is the year the 50p went from this slightly larger design down to this size, which is the size we still use in circulation to this day. And in this box, oh, England versus Australia, 1985 Lords. It's a solid nickel silver medal, maybe? I can't quite turn it over because this uh, pull bit has been broken. So I'm not quite sure what's on the other side, I must admit. We've got a brilliant uncirculated two pound coin here. This is the first in the Captain Cook three part collection. There was one released each year. And another brilliant uncirculating coin. This was minted to mark the Queen Mother's 90th birthday. If we have a peek inside, we have the lovely coin there. Sticking with brilliant uncirculated coins, this is an annual set from 1994. So we've got a whole range of coins in here. We've got the uh, Lion Rampant on the round pound coin for Scotland. The Bank of England Tercentenary, which I think we've seen in silver already today. And the D-Day Landings 50p. Next up we've got this great big blue box. Oh, it's only got a couple of pound coins in it, so I'm missing. So we've got the uh, Lion Rampant for Scotland and the Red Dragon of Wales. In this little blue pocket we've got a silver one pound coin from Guernsey, which is pretty neat. And then another big blue box, a two ounce silver commemorative England's winner of 2003 rugby. Hmm. So it's just a great big silver commemorative medal. Then we've got one last pile of bits. We start with the New Zealand one. Oh, very nice. One dollar. Silver proof coin. Probably a round pound. Yep, 1997. Three lines of England, silver proof pound coin. Back to New Zealand. 1982. Silver one dollar coin. Yeah, in this box. Hmm, silver proof two pound coin set. 1997 to 1998. So this is the change in the portraits of the Queen on the coins, which you can see there. New Zealand again, 1983. Oh, it's the Royal Visit. Again, silver proof, a $1 coin. Silver Jubilee. And it's the UK Silver Jubilee Silver Proof Crown. We've got a brilliant uncirculated old two pound coin. This is the Bill of Rights, sadly not the Claimer Rights. That would be a lovely one to find. Here in the next box, another silver proof two pound coin, 1998 for this one. And then another two pound coin, 1997 for this one. Then we've got the brilliant uncirculated 1997 bimetallic two pound coin. Very cool. We've got the countdown to the Olympic Games five pound coin. This was the last in this four coin set. There was one each year counting down to the Olympics starting in 2012. Now this is quite a cool coin to find. It is a silver proof dual dated EU presidency 50p. So uh, this is larger than a standard 50p coin because they were resized as we know in 1997. But for the ones that went into circulation, there was less of them put out into general circulation than the Kew Gardens 50p. So it is a commemorative 50p that was rarer than the Kew Gardens but as I said it's a larger old style one so you won't find these actively in circulation anymore. We're going to the Falkland Islands 1980s proof set. Look at these some lovely designs with some wonderful creatures on it. We've got some penguins as well they're very cute aren't they? There's another silver Guernsey one pound coin this one is the Queen Mother. There's another one of these Bill of Rights carded coins and the Queen Mother's birthday crown. We've got a brilliant uncirculated coin here 1996. The pound coin yeah Celtic talk on this one. And this is Silverstone on it, so it'll be Formula One. Oh, yeah. The 30th Silverstone Gr British Grand Prix in July 1995. Well, that's quite cool, isn't it? On to the next box. Ooh, 1895. It's a big old coin. It's Queen Victoria. It's a crown. God, that's lovely, isn't it? The history that this coin has lived through is pretty impressive. In the next box, we've got another medal, Investiture of the Prince of Wales Silver Medal. Oh, look at that. Doesn't his portrait look like his grandfather? That's amazing. On the other side, we've got the symbol of the Prince of Wales. There's a New Zealand coin again, another one dollar. Lovely design on that one. So we've got a brilliant uncirculated Queen Mother crown, and it comes with a very cool blown up stamp, like a postcard. 
And lastly for this collection, we've got the Millennium five pound coin. Brilliant uncirculated standard. That's the obverse. And if we turn it over, we've got the reverse there. Well, been some fascinating coins. It's been amazing to see some coins outside of the UK, New Zealand and Guernsey, Jersey, the Falkland Islands. So it's hard to pick a favorite, but maybe the EU presidency silver proof 50p, but I did like that Britannia set as well. That was lovely. So let me know in the comments what your favorite coin from this collection is. Check out the links in the description if you want to make any purchases through our website or get in touch with us if you want to make a purchase about something that's not already on our website. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well it's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of these future uploads you can also follow us on facebook and instagram where we post lots of pictures of our coins we're on twitter and tiktok we have our shop and online store and i'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the britannia coin company